shall say, but the Holy Spirit told me this morning, don't be afraid of their faces. Just do what I say. Amen. And I intend to do just that. Once again, for the benefit of those of you who are practically reading along with us, and those of you who desire to read this portion of Scripture upon your return home, the fifth chapter that's recorded by the book of Acts, commencing and concluding with verse 1, you find the following words, But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold, a possession. I want you to look at that word again, the very first word in the text. It says, but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession. I want to talk this morning from this thought, Lord, help me to sit my butt down. sit my butt down. That's what I want to talk about this morning. I prayerfully pray that you be proud for with us. Thank you, Hershey, you may be relieved of your post. Lord, help me to sit my butt down. I want to first off began by saying that when you think about the type of subject um, that I have on today, it is a strange yet peculiar subject. One would say it's strange because uh, the trainer is picking. You know how we normally do. Um, we usually tell our children, girl or boy, you better sit your butt down. But when we look at this particular text, uh, that word that we generally deal with when we're telling our kids to sit down or whoever to sit down, we deal with it from B-U-T-T. But in the text, it's B-U-T. That's all I want to deal with. I probably won't even get no further than just that word B U T. Uh, but to get you caught up to where we are, amen, in this fifth chapter, you've heard me preach this sermon before entitled, How Did They Start it Rapidly Growing? Uh, the churches began to start expanding. Well, the church began to start expanding because of several reasons. Number one, amen, after Peter preached one sermon, the Bible says that 3,000 souls were added unto the church. However, though, before the 3,000 souls could be added unto the church, they had to be what was called some conviction going on amongst the individuals to whom Peter was preaching to. Uh, let, me say, let me say this, that when a preacher stands to proclaim the gospel, my beloved brothers and sisters, don't take the word of God lightly, because the word of God is for our better enhancement of our spiritual relationship with God. The sermon that Peter preached, amen, it wasn't a sermon to tickle your funny bone, you know. We love the type of preachers that can uh, say the kind of things we want them to hear, amen. But Peter did not preach that type of sermon. Peter preached, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. In other words, what Peter was telling them is, is that you need to start denouncing sin and stop sinning for what you are doing, amen, and turn your life over to the care and the will of God because sooner or later, if you do not accept God, there's going to come a time that when you die, you and I have got to stand before God. And the scripture says that we got to give an account for every deed that has been done in this body, every thought that we thought in our mind, the church began to start experiencing rapid growth because the individuals to whom Peter was preaching to, amen, at one time in their lives, they were 
shift day. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh, that they, at one point in that time, there were some that did not believe in half of the things that were told. But when the Holy Ghost came upon them, and, 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 and notice I keep saying, when the Holy Ghost, that you do know, as a lot of folk that are in church have not yet came in power with the Holy Ghost. And, and because of that, you don't have to have to expose it. Just look at some of the individual attitudes that are in church. Uh, the church began to experience rapid growth. And, and, and as, a, as, as a cause of this, amen, church began to start being church. And they had developed, amen, what was called, amen, back then, amen, Peter said, look, I want, I'm not all that interested in having a chairman of the deacon board. I'm not all that interested in having all these different auxiliaries. auxiliaries. You do know all these auxiliaries that we have in churches today, amen, they are man-made auxiliaries. And sometimes you and I got to learn to be careful about some of the things that we allow or we bring into church because somewhere down the line, there was somebody, if it was not directed by God, it would turn around and backfire on the other end. So what Peter told him, he said, he said, he said, since the Holy Ghost has come upon you, yeah. amen, then everything that about you ought to be about God. And so look at what he began to start doing. I'm talking about 3,000 souls, 3,000 folk, amen, when you get a chance, start reading from chapter 2 on up to chapter 5. Everybody began to start bringing, amen. first of all, their gifts, they, they came freely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. 